Good Monday evening, everybody. I am not meteorologist Mike Brookins. He is live at the fair for the one last day and for your Labor Day. I'm back here with the forecast details. We'll start off with a look at satellite and radar. Over the past few hours, post-tropical storm Hermine still churning in the coast. And notice that some of that rain is starting to move on shore. But again, big miss for central New York, a non-player. We are more focused on that batch of cloud cover and a few showers that's dropping in from the northwest. That's going to up our chances for some unsettled weather in the later part of the week and also amp up the heat and humidity just in time for the kids to head back to school. And that's where those uh, high dew points and the high humidity is too over in the Midwest. Notice we're still comfortable right now, but that will slowly start to change. We'll be a little bit more muggy tomorrow, but Wednesday and Thursday are your days to watch for little bit hasty index value. So we'll pick up the future cast tonight at 6 o'clock. Time it out for you hour by hour. Another mainly clear night makes temperatures drop like a rock through tomorrow morning. I think we'll be bottoming out in the mid-50s for a lot of us, maybe a little bit cooler on the countryside. We could see some patchy fog develop. If you saw dense fog this morning, Pretty good chance you'll see it tomorrow as well in the valleys to the south of Syracuse. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies persist throughout the day. Notice that most of central New York stays nice and dry. A batch of moisture will start to approach from the west, but I don't think a lot of that survives the trip into central New York. So we're looking at a mix of sunshine and clouds, some high wispy clouds filtering sunshine later on in the day. We'll start to up the chance for isolated showers during the day on Wednesday, but most of us stay dry. Your best day for rain is Thursday, and you can see that on the seven-day forecast. Heat and humidity will be around through the middle of the week and through the first part of the weekend as well, but I think your two best days for any rain will be Thursday, late Thursday, and likely during the day on Saturday. We might get a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm in between there on the day on Friday, but most of us will stay dry. Temperatures rising through tomorrow and through Thursday, a few days close to 90 degrees. But again, watch that humidity because it'll feel a little bit warmer. Once we get showers and storms out of the way on Saturday, that's when we really start to cool it down for Sunday and it starts to feel closer to where we should be for September standards. Highs in the mid to low 70s, slowly drying out through Monday morning. You can always stay updated on your forecast online at cnycentral.com.